welcome back to the White Stoner channel here on YouTube and today I'm going to be doing the Wrestlemania 37 review because apparently I forgot to do it. Um, I did do an unboxing and a um, predictions video and a um, hunt for it but um, I guess I forgot to do the review so here we go. <clears throat> So they went with the pirate theme again, which was um, for WrestleMania 2020. And then um, if you notice on the cover, you can see some um, Easter eggs of people's masks or whatever. Like you can see Bray Wyatt's mask, Rey Mysterio's mask, um, Sheamus's necklace that he wears. So, little stuff like that. And then, um... Bad Bunny actually made the cover somehow. I am quite surprised. I'm not a big Bad Bunny fan at all. But, um... So, this would be Daniel Bryan's last WrestleMania. The... Yes. His last WrestleMania. Before signing over with AEW. So we have Daniel Bryan, Randy Orton, Bianca Belair, Edge, Roman Reigns, Drew McIntyre, Sasha Banks, Bobby Lashley, Damian Priest, and Bad Bunny on the cover for WrestleMania 37. And then once I can uh, find the Blu-ray for WrestleMania 38, I definitely will review that one too. So, so here is the Blu-ray itself. Uh, pretty much the same thing. And then here is the back of the Blu-ray. Um, that's the one thing I still like. That at least we get WrestleMania on Blu-ray. It's a real shame that, um, for whatever reason, the U.S. or WWE themselves stopped producing Blu-rays for, uh, us people in the U.S. Except for WrestleMania. So, at least we get one Blu-ray. But I wish... We had more. So with this one, it came with the Drew McIntyre card. And then, I don't know. It says it expires um, 5-31-22. So it said it's already expired, but you guys can go ahead and try that out. Let me know in the comments if it worked or what happened. And then here is disc one. Since getting this, I don't think I've ever put it in the Blu-ray player. So it's just been sitting here in the collection. And then that was night one, pretty much. And here is night two. So um, really cool designs, even though we don't get cool disc art anymore. But um, they did really good here. And, um, unfortunately, we have the Warner Brothers logo on here, but, um, it is what it is. So, this was also hosted by, for some reason, Titus O'Neil and Hulk Hogan. So, um, now I understand Hulk Hogan being the host for Wrestling 30, because that was 30 years, and he was the icon for the first one. But this one really didn't make any sense why but um so these ones I don't really give a match listing um I'm not good at but I will do what I can to tell you all the matches so um I've only seen it once when it first aired last year so if I miss a match somebody please let me know in the comments down below and here we go so night one, we had Drew McIntyre versus Bobby Lashley for the WWE Championship, which I really thought was uh, a decent opener. I was proud that uh, Bobby Lashley won. A lot of people wanted Drew McIntyre to win, but I figured, why not have Bobby Lashley win? Because Drew McIntyre had his moment and um, beat Brock Lesnar, so it was time for Bobby Lashley to win. And I do remember that much. 
Then we had Bianca Belair versus Sasha Banks. They were the first uh, black women to main event WrestleMania, which was super cool and all. Uh, I was um, hoping that Sasha would have won because I like her better than Bianca. Um, now, I did like Bianca winning the Royal Rumble because... Finally, a black person won the Royal Rumble. I'm not... I don't know why it took forever, but finally, a black person has won the Royal Rumble. People say The Rock is, but I um, mean full black, not half black and half Samoan. I'm talking 100%. So, seeing her win the Rumble was cool, and then when she whipped... Sasha Banks with her hair to win the title. That's when I'm like done with her. I don't like Bianca Belair. Can't stand her. But um, she's uh, she's a pretty good performer. I'll give you that. Then we had um, Bad Bunny teaming with Damian Priest to take on Miz and Morrison. Um, that match was all right. Not much to say since Bad Bunny was involved, and I'm not a fan. Then we had Braun Strowman versus Shea McMahon in the Steel Cage match. That match was was awesome. Then I do believe this was um Cesaro's last WrestleMania two. He went against Seth Rollins in a uh, another great match. We have, I think it was Sheamus versus Matt Riddle, it looks like. So, another decent match. Um, okay. Then we had Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt in a really strange match. Um, I didn't understand it too much. I was looking really forward to it, but then it turned out to be... Not so good from what I remember. I definitely got to go back and watch this one. But, um, it is what it is. Uh, we had what looks like Shayna Baszler versus Natalia. I don't know if it was anything special. Then it looks like we have Sami Zayn versus Kevin Owens. And then we had, um, in the main event to close out WrestleMania... We had Daniel Bryan versus Edge versus Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship. Um, so I am a Roman Reigns fan. I do like him, and um, I do like the Bloodline and all that. But at this time, I really wanted Edge to win because I thought he deserved another title run. But I guess they. Wanted to keep Roman Reigns and still want to keep Roman Reigns world champion, which I'm fine by, but I just thought Edge could have won right there. Then we had Rhea Ripley versus Asuka. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, Rhea Ripley got uh, won the women, the Raw Women's Championship here. That was awesome. I can't stand Asuka. Not after what they did to her at Roy Rumble 2018, man. It was just real pointless for her to win the Roy Rumble then. And, um, the, Roy, the 2018 Roy Rumble matches themselves aren't too bad. It's just the winners. So. Then we had Apollo Crews versus Big E. And then, um,. Oh, yeah. In a Nigerian drum fight match. The stipulation was kind of cool. Then we had um, AJ Styles and Omos versus some team. I, f I forgot what team it was, but um, that's pretty much it, what it's listing here. <coughs> oh boy. So, 
don't. So there you have it. There is the WrestleMania 37 review for you guys. Yeah. I'm just trying to see if it um mentions where AJ Styles and Omos who they fought, but I'm not seeing it, so um so there you have it once again. This has been the WrestleMania 37 review for you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. So you know what to do. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a like. And your host, White Stoner, is out.